Uh, a little after 10 o'clock, so I'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. This is a regular commissioner's court meeting for County of Star, Monday, January 24th. Let the record show that we do have quorum. Commissioner signs uh, being absent. Uh, if everyone, first of all, I want to welcome and thank you all for being here. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, any public comments? We have one. I'm sorry. I guess uh, the first public comment that we have is from concerning an easement by Novia Solis. Okay, if you would please uh, and identify yourself, please. Good morning. Um, Good morning. County Josh Eloy Vera, um, County Commissioner Raul Peña. County Commissioner Eloy Garza and, uh, and uh, County Commissioner Jose Perez. The reason I'm here because I have a, I first approached um, Commissioner Eloy Garza about an easement that goes through my property and I wanted to file or seek a statutory easement from the Commissioner's Court. Mr. or County Commissioner Garza told me he wasn't going to do anything about it because it's a private property. Well, after I did some research, I found out that such easement is not private property. So I have been told seek a lawsuit legal action. I don't have money for. And besides that, this easement already been recorded in public records. So how many times does it have to be recorded in public records for the county to enforce the use of that road? My neighbor, I have a neighbor that lives in the back. Does he say that the road belongs to him? And according to the deed that I got of the property, he doesn't have a deed for that easement. And that easement appeared in a paperwork from a deed under his mother's name, and it doesn't appear as a private easement, as a private road. Another issue I have that the pol this gentleman has been harassing us since 2017. In 2020, the police went there. My husband asked for a re police report. A police report was not written down. According to my understanding, a police report needs to be done because it creates a pattern of harassment. So uh, those are my answers. What else needs to be done and how many times for a track of land that is an easement and that is recorded in a public record that is not private property? When is going to be private property? When is going to be public property? The maintainer goes there. School bus used to go there no more because, because the children have grown. Ambulance go there. Mailman goes there. I'm not the only neighbor there. If I need to bring neighbors on the next meeting because I would like this to be put in the agenda for the next commissioner court. And if I need to bring all the other people this gentleman harasses, then I will do so. Uh, Ms. Olis. Yes, sir. Certainly, thank you for, for being here today, this morning. Uh, however, this, this is not an agenda item. It, it's just a public comment. Yes, sir. So we cannot take any action whatsoever. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, we really shouldn't even discuss it with you. Mm -hmm. 
but I, I will give you a little bit of advice uh, as far as on the legal. Have you contacted the county attorney or his office? I went and spoke with uh, Tony, Josh no. Tony Garcia. No, 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 he's in planning, no. This is at the county attorney's office here at the courthouse. Victor Flores? No, it's with uh, Mr. Canales. Victor Canales is the county attorney. Okay. Uh, I would suggest that you talk to him, take all the information that you have, and then he advises the court you know, it's, uh, and like I said, I shouldn't even be discussing this with yes. you, but I will. Uh, the uh, the way we have normally handled these cases yes, is exactly what, what you said, uh, Commissioner Garza told you. This is a civil case between two citizens of the County of Star, and the county does not get involved uh, when it's two citizens, because, you know, that that's something between you two. Uh, that has to be settled in a court of law. Mm -hmm. But but again, I'm not here to give legal advice. Right. Talk to Mr. Canales and he can shed some light as to what would be your next uh, step. Uh, but uh, like I said, that has been normally the case. But but try talking to him, Thank see you. what he tells you. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. I gave you a number, and I asked Mr. Silva, you said you were calling him. I called him. Um, no answer, busy. I was there and we called you from, uh, I got called, he got called you, he said, I have not received a call from nobody as such. That same I didn't, day, I didn't receive a phone said, call from him, him, sir. Has not come to my office, and I said, but I'm, I'm willing to listen to her. The attorney that, the, the, what do you call the, the attorney for the, the attorney said, legal aid. Legal aid, legal aid. I'm yeah. familiar with legal aid. Ready and that you had not called him. I called them, no yeah, answer, but, but I will try call. again. He said he, he not received the call. I saw him Saturday, I saw him Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, him. close. I will call him again today. You go by his office, he's probably there right now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. The The next public comment that we had. Agenda item seven, so we can go on with the meeting. You wanna wait for that? Yeah, we'll wait okay. for that. Okay, uh, <coughs> let, let's go on with our um, agenda. Uh, the next is the vendors list, Mr. Pettis. Yes, good morning, Judge. Good morning. Uh, you should have a copy of the vendors list in front of you of four new vendors. We can do those in the written I do the move, Your Honor. Second, Your Honor. Moved and second to approve discussion. All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next is the claims, Mr. Pettis. Yes, again, you should have a copy of the claims in front of you of the evening papers. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Second. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion. All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, okay, if it's okay with the court, I'd like to move to item eight. I see we have some visitors with the uh, County Extension Agency. Uh, do you want to go ahead and take the podium? And this is to discuss and approve the appointment of the new Stark County uh, Extension Agent <coughs> for Family Good. and Community Health. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. Thank you for your time this morning and for your support of our program over the years. I was telling Omar that uh, I've been in, in this district for 15 years, and, I've, and we have 20 counties, and I believe this is the only county where I've never appeared before Commissioner's Court. We've had a very stable, strong program over the years, and and uh, but uh, things change and so with the retirement of Ms. Morado we have left with a vacancy that we uh, 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 advertised and the way that works is we advertise we do all the EEO stuff and then we come forward with a recommendation for you all to consider uh, since counties are partners with uh, our agency we want to we want to present those for you all's approval as you share in some of the salary match and um, I'm very pleased to have uh, Neda here with us uh, this morning. She would be our recommendation, Neda Martinez. She has a bachelor's degree from Sam Houston State and a master's in Texas Tech, but probably most importantly, she has a lot of good experience and a lot of experience here in Star County, and that's very, very rare. Usually when we have openings like this, we're hiring people that are fresh out of college and, and don't come with a lot of that experience. but. Uh, 
uh, we're very fortunate uh, to have her interested in in that and and uh, in the memo that uh, that I, I I I hope is in the backup there we, we provide details on the county match for the salary and some of the effective dates um, we're uh, we would we would start her March 1st but we would pick up the tab for the first month because we'll be doing lots of training and orientation and she'll be She'll be here, but she'll be out a lot, and so we don't want anybody getting mad at us because we're pulling her out for a few days here and there and, and everything. So officially, uh, with y'all's approval, if y'all approve, we would start her uh, April 1st, and that would be the first effective date uh, in the county. And so um, uh, in the backup, we have the, the budgeted salary match from the county as well. And um, we just, uh, if you have any questions, uh, I told Nayla to prepare a long speech this morning just to scare her, but I don't think, uh, I, don't, I don't know that that would be necessary. But any comments or questions, we're happy to take. Okay. Well, uh, I've met with uh, Ms. Martinez and yourself and mm -hmm. at, at the office, and, and I was very impressed with her resume, and you know, uh, I certainly don't have a problem, and I highly recommend that we do approve it. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? Would you like to say anything? Yeah. Good morning, uh, Judge Aveda, Commissioners. I am very honored and grateful to be here in front of you today. And thank you, Dr. Saldana, and to the Star County uh, staff. I uh, look forward to serving our county, and I completely uh, appreciate your support. Thank you. I do have a motion, a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank you. And we hope to see you more often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone else that needs to come before the court at this time? If not, we'll go ahead and follow our agenda. Uh, under item six, this is an, uh, an action item, and this is just house cleaning on extending the declaration of local disaster for public health. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. You want to go into item seven? No, we can talk this. Let's skip it. No, no. Okay. Well, uh, uh, next item is item number seven, and this is uh, to, to look for a solution for e issues pertaining to stray dogs within the County of Star. Commissioner Pena? Yes, Your Honor, and the court. Uh, I just want to let the court know that in prison, too, I've been having a lot of problems with stray dogs, dogs that are running our streets and uh, harassing our, our, might be in our kids. They can't play around the streets. Whenever they're gonna get on the bus, they're having problems porque hay muchos perros. I mean, there's just too many of them. And la area de la Victoria de Alfredo, en la area de la Victoria, Alfredo called me last week. He me molesto porque dice, pues, Roy, no se pueden subir a los buses. Even uh, the bus uh, maintenance, the bus director also called me. The Roma LD me dijo, what can we do? And unfortunately, we do not have any or no tenemos ninguna ordenanza, no ordenance at this time. But but déjame meter la commissioner's court, maybe we can find a solution. Por eso, y también quiero que pase, para que lo escuchen el, el, el problema que trae él. I mean, no es de ahorita, and everybody knows that. Commissioner Garza también tiene que tener problemas. We, we all have, do. We have a lot of problems. The thing mean? is, we don't have the ordinance power. But, uh, but there is a law that says the leash law. Okay. That all those persons has to have their dogs tied down in their houses or be in their property. Who can enforce this law, Your Honor? Los constables or can't? Uh, yeah. What we had before, Commissioner, some some years back, we had a uh, an abatement officer that would take care of our, our dogs, countywide. Okay. But then it was it was done away with, and the money that was budgeted was divided equally amongst the four precincts, okay. and each precinct was supposed to take care of their their dog situation. Okay. Of course, we didn't have the number of dogs that we have now. Uh, but there's a new law, the, the leech law that Commissioner Garza was talking about, and, and I really don't know all that. Do you know, Rami, what, what it entails? Well, I know, Commissioner, it, it's probably going to cost more products for the county uh, because of the 
because it requires uh, if the dog not be in the middle chain, he has to be on the on the on the on the, on the, on the zip line. He has to be on the zip line or approve the type of leash that's sold. Not he can't use any metal chain anymore. The, the, the animal must be has have to have proper housing, shade, water. So I'm predicting. Just my opinion is people instead of they, dealing with these with, with their animals because of the way they have them housed, they're just going to start getting more more in, in the street. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think that it's not so much the dogs that are owned, it's, it's dogs that they throw away yes, sure. and then they just roam the streets. You know, I guess what I, what I would suggest is if, if you all like, you know, I can look for some money. And in fact, at one time, uh, Reina and I were looking into building a, uh, a dog pound. Well, that's what that, I also got a call from this lady that lives in Fronton. Yes. She, uh, you got a call from her too? Yes. Okay. Y nos pide, me pidió if we were re able to lease some land. I got some land donated last, no, como hace como three years. Remember that I got some land donated yes. out in Fronton? Right. So it's como an acre or two acres. All we got to do is just check in the legalities on that. Maybe we can lease yeah. it out to her. And they have an, a nonprofit organization that are willing to come build the, the compound and everything for them. All we got to do is provide the land. I mean, that's an, that's a, some, an option we can probably yeah, uh, go through. Uh, yeah, we, we could certainly look into that. Uh, I know at one time we even looked at maybe negotiating with the city of Rio Grande because mm -hmm. they have a really good dog pound mm -hmm. to You're take right. care of. And my precinct, my constable take care of that. We, when we get calls for a stray animal, he goes out there and go talk to the people, make sure. The big, most of them, they, they want to say it's a stray animal, but there's owners. And they don't want to admit it, but we know that they're there. And I send the constable and tell them, you need to tie down your dogs or, or put them in a the van or whatever. My, yeah. constable, my constable does that. Yeah, it, it really, it's the constable's uh, job to, to, to look into that, like it is to, to investigate illegal dumping and, and that sort of thing that that is some of the things the constable should be doing because we don't have an abatement officer okay so we're gonna uh, so la, la respuesta va a ser hablarle a Rey Rodríguez uh, Pero escute, uh, lo good morning que judge and commissioners uh, I called him and he said that he can't do nothing he said he don't enforce laws that's what he told me because that, I, that I not enforce law that's what he told me he said I don't I don't do nothing uh, because I told him I said uh people on my street it's a dead end street or yeah and uh, I tell them, I say, hey, sometimes I can't even get in there. There's so many cars, people partying, which I don't have a problem. But they're blocking the road. You can't even get through. And I told them, is there any way you can patrol? He said, no, that's not my job. Well, uh, I, I, I tend to differ because he's a peace officer. I, I know. Uh, you know, so. Uh, who's the judge there? Ramiro Guillén. También nunca lo veo. Well, he's the one that both giving the orders to the yeah. constable saying you need to go do this. Yeah. Uh, 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 see, uh, I can't do see him. I'll go explain what's going on. Yeah. Okay, let's go to see what's going on. 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 En el Ramírez. Booster, el booster del agua de la ciudad? No, no, no. Pues se, se mete en la colonia el, okay. el bus and he stops every, Acá, every street. En Gilberto, en el Gilberto, yeah. en todo se está parando. Yeah. And most of the people are not uh, putting their kids in the bus there anymore. No. But I guess because of the dogs, they're just aggressive. I mean, it's... No, eh, es que esos perros eh, que están ahí en la Victoria son tan fuertes. It's, yeah. it's bad and you can't do nothing. I called, I called the county uh, sheriffs. I called the bus, and and they they said nobody can do nothing. I said, well, what was going to happen if they bite my kid? Do you know who the owners are, or the dogs? Some of them I do. Uh, actually, I had one dog attack me one time, and uh, the sheriff's office had to come out there and talk to the owners. And he told them, he said, you need to tie this dog up. It's already loose again. Well, we do you up there too. We get, I got some uh, some cages, traps. I trap it in, bring them in. And tell them we're going to send them to be to put to sleep. Yeah. Exactly. And we take it. So whether they're going to the pound and they're going to put it to sleep. And you tell them you, you're, you're going to get rid of the dogs and, and then they get mad. But for anything else, they don't care. I mean, you can't even walk in the yard because the dogs come out there and do the restroom. I mean, you can't step outside. The kids can't play outside. I'm sick and tired of it. Not even in our yard, we can't even play. The kids can't play. 
Because the dogs be walking by. And I told I told the deputy, I said, well, if, if the dog's aggressive, I'm going to kill him. He's like, well, if the owner shows up and they want to press charges, then we're going to have to press charges. El, uh, well, you know, again, uh, thank you for, for bringing it to, to our attention. Uh, let us let us uh, look into it. I think that the best thing is just to build our own pound where we can utilize them or do whatever. We, we need to, because uh, we do need to get control. Maybe we can do her a, what, a five to ten year lease, a dollar a, a month or a dollar a year. A right? dollar a year, sea. yeah. I'll clean up the property, que a ver quién es la compañía esa, yeah. let them get started. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's Pina del Basurero on Pro. Pero está muy lejos, ella, es que ahí vive ella, por ah, okay. Y luego la ciudad de Roma le pone la comida también, ¿no? Ah. Si la ciudad de Roma está trabajando con la ciudad de Roma. Está bien, ¿eh? Y el terreno, nosotros no tenemos uso, está así ahí, está en el montado, necesito limpiarlo. A ver quién me presta una, un bulldozer, ¿me entiendes? O sea que... Alfredo, thank you very much, por favor. Y déjame ver qué vamos a hacer. That's fine, like I said. Ya lo viste, Deo. Rey es el que tiene que hacer el jale y no lo está haciendo. Dilo, eres ley, man. Puedes hacer... Usa tu... Pues no, we don't have legal counsel, I don't know who to ask. Pero a lo que se parece, el rey puede ayudarnos un poquito más. ¿Me entiendes? Porque les... Hopefully. Hopefully. Como quiera, yo hablo con Judge Guillén y hablo con Rey, les platico lo que está pasando. Que necesita que va a ver eso y hable con la gente. Se amarra los perros. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's just. Because I, I, I don't want one of my kids to get hurt. That's what I don't want. We'll work on it. We'll, we'll find a solution. Just. Uh, Give us, give us a little yeah, bit. That, that's fine. It's been going on for years. I finally decided to speak up because nobody wants to help, and it's getting worse. Like you said, it used to not be this bad, yeah. but now it's bad. I mean, dogs having puppies every yeah, few months, it's crazy yeah. now. No, it's we, crazy. We, we do need to get control of that. Yeah. Thank you. For Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. To, well, do, do you want... To, to make a motion to negotiate with that lady on pues no más discussion no dice nada can we do it this is a uh, discussion on Por finding solution panel. okay well i would like to entertain a motion and to enter in a contract with well, not, not, no, not entering a contract because we don't know no, we don't know let me go ahead and ask to, her to come in to negotiate to negotiate, to negotiate, to negotiate to, with her but i don't remember her name it's i don't remember uh, her name ah, mira, aquí vengo. se llama noeli diaz the lady that contacted me. Okay. Let me see. Let, let me go ahead and talk to her this okay. week. Okay. bring it for next yeah, week. Yeah, we'll go see okay. what we can do for next week. Yeah, we'll just take, we'll just let it go. We'll let it write today, and we'll okay. see what we can do for next uh, commissioner's court. Okay. Item uh, nine is an action item, and this is to approve the treasurer's uh, investment report. We we have it with us. It's for 21-22, starting October 1st of 21 through December 31st of 21. Uh, Motion to approve, Your Honor. Second. Moved and second. Mr. Gonzalez could not be present. He's, he's uh, under the weather. Uh, all in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 10 is an action item to approve the order of election for the March 1st primary election. John. You just heard, uh, you just heard, uh, I know you, uh, you want to table this item because uh, we, we don't need to have an order of election we on don't. the primary election. So we're just going to... Uh, Table it or just scratch it out. Okay, so so no action needed. No action. I thought before we needed uh, order. No. I think it's only for the amendment selections and uh, to when we're gonna uh, I guess help out the, the citizen schools <coughs> on their elections. That's when we have to enter into an order. Okay, no, no action needed. Uh, the next item is uh, discuss and take action to approve notice of election for March first. You also have your the, the notice of election in your wall package. Do you have any questions? Yes. Motion to approve, Your Honor. <coughs> second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Hold on, Your Honor. For number yeah, eight, they, should, they should have done it the other way around. And, so, and number seven, no va a ser el community center, va a ser el nutrition center. Ahí está atrás. On where? In the in community, in the precinct seven, the Salineño. 
It's no longer in the, in the no same area. Community center. But it's the same. It's, 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 it's in the same. Yeah. yeah. As long as it's in the same okay, address. Okay, yeah, we'll address. just rename it. Okay. Yeah. So we're okay with that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Item 12 is an action item also, and it's to approve the new additional election day sites. Uh, the, yeah, this is at each precinct, right? Yeah, it, we just said that when the, the new um, uh, precincts, the voting precinct that we adopted, the county adopted, we have to have new uh, additional uh, election day sites. Okay, and the commissioners are okay with those? Yep. Second, Your Honor. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 13 is an action item that is to approve the joint primary uh, resolution between the Democratic Party and the Republican Party? Yes, sir. And that one, we're going to have to, uh, it wasn't really too late to change the wording with Sandra. So it's only just to come to the uh, um, hearing commission score and just change the wording. It's just to open uh, uh, the election services contract with both parties. Okay. So we're going to have election the Republicans and the Democrats on the same sites? Yes, sir. And the machines? Everything, yes. We're gonna get new. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, now we're gonna have it at the same site. Same site, but different areas. Yeah, different areas. And we're, we're gonna try to divide the the building. Yeah, yeah. As I much as we can. It, it's a good thing to have them in the same. For example, have them here on both. Yes. No. Here, like an example, here in the courthouse, we'll have one here, and the other one will be across the room. There you go. Okay. How about Eric and Sanisha? Sanisha, we're gonna try to divide it, sir. We're gonna try to put something in the middle, the, and then try to uh, Republicans and Democrats, correct. Let's go on our community center. Yeah, yeah, I think, um, yeah, we can yeah. work on it. Yeah, I think that that's where I see the the only real conflict would be in, in La Rosita. Yeah, not the building, the building's fine, it's the the parking lot, you the know. Parking lot. I don't have enough area. That's the problem. Yeah, the the how dangerous would it be? But I guess if that's and you want to table this item and uh, to um, look for another building. No, it was no more here. Uh, across the street and the community was well, the iglesia. Pero no podemos en la iglesia en la doctrina. En la iglesia. Saloncito de la doctrina de la iglesia. That's the one. Bueno, mejor ahí ni todo lo. Pero no tiene que ver nada por la ley. Conflict of church and state. No. No. No, we, we, we have one one election day side of the uh, park. And if I have time, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, we'll need to look into yeah, because I think we're going to have to uh, can, can do a special meeting. Can we change that if, if uh, we come to an agreement with the church? Yeah, we, we, we can wait and just table it, and, and uh, I think I'm going to have to call for a special meeting. Do we have enough time? Yes. Because we're only for No, yeah, oh, we're good. Oh, this is for election day. Election day, yes. Okay. Election day. Well, it's up to y'all. You wanna, you wanna wait, Commissioner? You wanna? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll look into it. We'll wait. No, but take it. Wait or no wait? Si wait. Let's wait. <laughs> so we table that okay. item. Yeah, we can table it. Para, para ir ahí a ver to see. And to talk to, talk to the, the person yeah. in charge. Right? Okay. So uh, I'll entertain a motion to table item 13. Do, 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 Your Honor. Second, Your Honor. Move and second to table. Discussion. All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Anything else? No. Item uh, 14 is an action item, and this is uh, on the criminal justice <coughs> program for fiscal year 2023 grant application, and this is for October the 1st of 22nd through September 30th of 23. All this grant, I see all bunch of grants. Uh, have the audit? What 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 does it have with the audit? Are they going to be able to apply? Are they just applying and, and they're letting them submit the application? We don't have an audit. Yeah, I, my understanding is we cannot apply for anything until the audit is complete. So, so see the, the other thing Nobody's is hmm? nobody's contacted you. Yeah, on, on this grants. I'm assuming that they're able to apply. Yeah. No. No. The only thing is that they're asking. To apply for October 22nd through year. September 23rd. I mean, we're still, what, eight, nine months away to be able 
Usted está metiendo todo en política. Yo creo que Chema no tiene. ¿Dónde? Chema también tiene este. No, no está. Cocha no está aquí. Uh -huh. No, yo me acerco a mí. No, y Gocha también tiene uno. Gocha tiene bastante ahí. Y Gocha también tiene. Y Chairs también tiene. No, Chairs no. El Chairs tiene... Operation Lone Star. Sí. Stone Garden. Stone Garden. So, so no one has approached you on any, any of these? No. Sí. Pues si son grand honor, I think they're okay. Yeah, and, and really, it, it's to apply. Sí, apenas dan apply, look, they're it, doing it beforehand, so. Yeah, it, it's it's for a grand application. It doesn't mean we need to accept it if it gets granted. No, well, there's no problem to accept it. The thing is, or we won't get funded. No, pues todavía we're not going to spend money, porque es hasta October. So we'll be okay. Ya, pues cuando llegue October, you know, y the grant's here, but yeah. we'll be okay. Maybe it's porque el audit está tardado, I don't know. You finish the audit or no? No. Maybe that's why they're doing this. I don't know. Yes. No, son de Victor. These are Victor, pero pero Ocha has some también. Uh, the I think there are five of them. Yes. Uh, they're they're continuing resolutions for the grants that we annually get. This is not the grant. This is just a resolution just to, apply. to apply for it. Yeah, but it's, it didn't really affect us. It's a resolution only. It's not applying. It's, yeah, it's a, just a resolution. It's yeah, a to, resolution to apply. To apply. Yeah. Lo de Gocha. To authorize them to apply. Yeah, to authorize them to apply. Victor no dicen eso. Sí, también. También dice. Yeah. They're going to apply. Uh, Monday? They're going to apply. Yeah, the Victor is a grant application. Action on. Is on grant is application. Ya dice. Ese ya llegó. Stone Garden. Sí, ese ya llegó. Yeah. And friendly horses. There are grants that we already have. We just need to apply every year. Right. right. Or biannually on yeah, some of I guess it's, it, I don't see any problem with uh, with this because we're only authorizing for them to apply. You know, hopefully the audit will be done and, yeah, and we can get these grants. Your Honor, can we do them jointly? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17? Well, or why no? don't we do the county attorneys? It's a 13 to which 17. Which is 14, 15, and 16. Ah, see, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. And 17, okay. okay. 14 to 17. 14 to 17, motion to approve. Second by Commissioner Pena. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. The post. Motion carries. Uh, item 18 is an action item. It is to accept fiscal year 21 operation of Stone Garden in the amount of 2,348,944. Uh, for County Star and Friendly Forces. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Your Honor, on this money to accept it, can, can they be still draw the money down even though we don't have the audit? I, I don't know. It's a good question. It's a good question, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's already been approved. I know it's, it's approved, yeah. But then they, they can draw, even though we don't have the audit, they can still draw the money? Yeah. Can I have a second. motion to approve? Second by Commissioner Garza. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 19 is an action item, and this is to approve resolution. Uh, something's wrong here. For fiscal year 2021, shouldn't that be 2022? Yep. 2021, but we've, we've already accepted it, and now they're asking for approval for resolution. Make sense. To approve resolution 2021? for 2021. Yeah, we, we we can come back to it. Okay, let, let's skip that one. Let's go on to item 20. Uh, and this is a uh, okay action an action item to approve resolution for grant number 190 3414 for the 229th to submit. Uh, can you take them all at one time? Uh, that, that's what I was I'm trying to read through them. I bet if we could take them all. They're, they're all grants with the governor's office, so I think we can. Uh, it's, it's for grants 19-03414, grant 22-81914, and grant 39-42-304, uh, and grant... 
441601 and 4441801 and 4453201 all of these are um, resolutions Resolutions to apply for grants from the district attorney's office. I second, Your Honor. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. That was the right of 27. Okay. Okay. Uh, item 29, that, that carried us through item 28. From 20 to 20, 20, 28 inclusive. Uh, item 29 is an action item, and this is to approve request from the extension office to amend. Oh, this are budget amendments. Yeah. Maybe 29, 30, 31, 32, 37, through 36. Yeah. Are those in order? Yes, sir, those are in order. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item uh, 37 is an action item, and this is for a budget correction. Yes, sir, it's in order. It's in order. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Let's go back. 19, Your Honor. To 19. 19, and this is uh, to approve resolution for fiscal year 2021 Operation Stone Garden. That's correct. It's 2021. It's 2021. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Okay. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. It is uh, 1040. And pers pursuant to section 551.074, we will go into executive session to discuss order of salaries, the ASO billing, and uh, for discussion of amending policy 4.02, that's a policy on compensation. We'll be back out shortly. It's 1129, we're back in, in open session. Items discussed in executive session were order of salaries. Uh, is there a motion? Motion to approve, Your Honor. Second. As presented. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The ASO is informational, so no action is needed. And then the other thing that was discussed was the uh, Start County policy on compensation. Motion to approve, Your Honor, after discussing the second session. Second. And second, uh, with the effective date being I, uh, April the 1st. Uh, on the bear, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. On the bear, please aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you.